Welcome. You are most likely viewing this demonstration because you need 3D design and production software for your business. You'll be amazed to see this design being created in real time in less than 8 minutes. Seeing is believing. Importantly, as soon as the design is finished, you're ready to print off full design costs and cutting lists. And for those of you who have CNC nesting machines, you can produce output directly to your machine for production. 3D Kitchen can create anything made from flat panels, such as kitchens, bathrooms, wardrobes, shelving and commercial furniture. So we'll just talk you through a little bit about what's happening in this design, which is being done in real time. So we've added in walls, which can be added at any length, at any uh, direction and any angle. Then we simply go into the cabinet library and start selecting from a range of over 400 cabinets and placing them into position. All cabinets are fully parametric so that means they can be changed in any dimension and directly produce correct cutting information from those dimensions. Draw units can have their draw heights changed for example and produce directly to production the correct cutting lists and for those of using CNC machines uh, the correct positions for drilling cabinet ends. At the moment we're placing a panel on the end of our corner unit then we're just copying that right click on the panel and we're going to shift it in this case 610 mil to make space for a dishwasher. Very quick to do. After that we'll place a sink unit next to the dishwasher and following that we'll select a packer. Now this is a variable width packer so we're going to change that to 50 millimeters and click it into position. Copy that and place it at a 90 degree angle so we can step cabinets off on that plane. Now we're going to change the draw unit here to 800 mil and simply copy it three times very quick and then we're going to select an end panel and put that in place. We'll copy that and rotate it and drop it. We're going to switch the dimensions on that panel so that they apply to its long edge and then we're going to measure the distance to place the panel. That is showing at 2468 so we need to create two of those so we'll make the panel 1234mm pick it up to place it and we'll place that, copy it and place it again so that we now have our two uh, back panels. We're going to place another panel uh, against the uh, packer that we put in. We're going to measure the distance across and it's 562 millimeters. So we take a draw unit which we're going to face out into the room, make it 562 mil and copy it into position. And we're just going to shift it back now 18 millimeters from that front panel. After that we're going to go into the uh, toe kick and place a toe kick which is simply clicked into position where the base cabinets change direction and then we're going to set that back and we're going to set it back minus 50 millimeters and you'll see that change. The next thing we'll place on to uh, the design is a sink so we're going to place a sink and tap into position over the sink unit and then we'll place a bench and it's done the same way as the toe kick so we just draw it into place where the direction changes clicking into place we're going to set it around the, the sink so we move around the sink very quickly and then back to the final corner to place it after that we generate an overhang so we're going to set that out 18 mil to go out to the edges of the outside panels then we're going to select the back edge and set that out a further 250 mil to create a breakfast bar effect the rest of them edges we set off 20 millimeters and we're going to set a pattern a Corian pattern on that bench which we'll view uh, later and now we're applying a 5mm radius to the edge of the bench just to make it uh, a little smoother. 
Now this design's finished, ready to produce, but we're going so that at this point it's ready to do costs and cutting lists and produce to your CNC machine if you have one. But now we're just going to enter some incidental items. So we've added in a dishwasher, we're adding in an underbench oven, we're added in our double door fridge, and now a gas cooktop. Now the next thing we'll put in is uh, an upper cabinet and c carry on with some cabinetry. So we're placing in a appliance garage, changing its depth uh, because we're going to set some upper cupboards above that. So we select our, our corner open shelf unit and place that, uh, click it into place above the appliance garage. And then we're going to put in an Aventos type unit and we'll drop three of these in. So just copy them quickly. One, two, three units. And then we'll just go back and select some other items to add in. So we're going to put in a, a range hood with a glass front on it. We'll go back now and select a jug to put on the bench. Again, these are just dress-up items that can be quickly added in place wherever you want to make the design look a bit more realistic. Replacing uh, a wooden block that has uh, some knives in it and just a bowl of, of apples. Now, very quickly you can see that the initial view is um, quickly and easily generated. When you generate our views, they're full motion 3D. So now we're going to add some lighting and shading. So we've added a spotlight in. We're going to set its target to 6 metres. Then we're just going to copy that and quickly place several spotlights around the room to give uh, the effects that we want. So we've put several. Now I'm shifting one. And then we're just going to uh, select a couple more items for dressing up. And that'll be a couple of uh, bar stools. There's no limit to the type of units that can be placed in. So that is the three-dimensional view being moved in real-time, high-resolution image. So 3D Kitchen can produce this kind of unit. And again, this is full-time, real-motion 3D movement. So I hope uh, this has given you a good uh, information about 3D Kitchen and what it can do for your business. Please take a little more time to have a look around our website at 3dkitchen.com and uh, please also contact us for any further information you would like. Thanks for watching.